Good morning to all my dear children. Hope you all are doing well and safe. So children, today we are going to learn a very interesting concept. The concept of float and sink. Children, do you know what is the meaning of float and sink? When something falls to the bottom of the water, we say it sinks. If it stays at the top of the water, we say it floats. Children, float means terna and sink means dubjana. Let us now understand this concept with the help of few examples. So children, for this we need few objects like a tub or a bowl with full of water. Now children tell me what is this? This is water. Now tell me children, what is this? This is a leaf. Now children, we put it in the water and see, will it float or sink? It floats. Now let's take next object. Children, tell me what is this? This is a spoon. Now children, tell me will it float or sink? Let's see. See children, it sinks. And our next object is, children, tell me what is this? This is an eraser. Now tell me children, will it float on the water or will it sink? Let's see. It sinks. Now let's take next object. Now children tell me, what is this? This is a feather. Now tell me children, will it float or sink? Let's see. Children see, it floats. And our next object is, Children tell me, what is this? This is a key. Now tell me children, will it float on the water or will it sink? Let's see. Children see, it sinks. Now let's take next object. Tell me children, what is this? This is a sharpener. Now children tell me, will it float or sink? Let's see. It floats. Okay children, that's all for today. I hope you understood the concept of float and sink. So practice this at home. Take care. Bye-bye.